this is the we're coming out of the stateroom on the port side and through the companionway into the salon. I'm standing in the salon, so this is the chart table, of course, with what um, I got a VHF. I really don't use instruments down here, but there's books in here and storage up there. There's the radio, um, and then uh, the FM AM radio. I mean. Uh, chart table underneath it picks up. There's charts all under there. There's two cabinets under there. We use those for tools right now. And on the other side of the companionway, that's the generator panel for the 7.7 .7 Westerby, which is accessed right here. And then I could open the hatch, but I'm not sure you'll see much. But I'll open it anyway. So you have access to it. I can make it brighter. There's the Westerby. I can tell you that it's very clean and runs very, very nice. The engine room is. Uh, the floors in the engine room are white and um, very well kept. So I don't know, I don't think I can make this bright enough for you to see this. But that is the um, Perkins 4154 in there, so it's good access there, both sides, back, and uh, on also from the galley. And in here, there's storage in here, in this cabinet, and then this is the controller for the solar panel, the blue sky. Um, MPPT controller for the solar panel and then underneath here is uh, we keep a bread maker in here and stuff but uh, there's the both the AC and the DC electrical panel with the Xantrex 2000 battery monitor which monitors both batteries and the amps in and out and amperage is used uh, engine hour meter bilge pump switches so that's all right here by the chart table and you can see there's lots of open and ports lots of light Here's my wife on the chart table. I'm in the chart table, the salon table, and all new cushions, and you can see varnishes in all real good shape. We keep fishing rods up there. There's a TV there. Um, some of the ones you'll see come with an ice maker right there. We took that ice maker out, made that storage, and some of the ones you see on this cabinet right here will have a TV, and we made that into a pantry. So, for food storage. There's storage behind, of course, behind the settees. There, on there, underneath that settee is a water tank. The fuel tank's down where you see the wood. One, there's fuel tank on one side, and there's a fuel tank on underneath. Goose, what do you say, Goose? Yep. So, um, there's the other settee. There's another water tank underneath that, a 50-gallon water tank. There's a uh, storage cabinet there, and there's also storage behind those settees. Storage up top, more stuff over there, we keep videos over there, there's another storage cabinet there, it's a hanging cabinet, but we've put lockers in there, we've got lots of stuff in there, including that's a big locker, right, got sewing machines and vacuum cleaner and stuff in there. Forward, the old standard V-berth with my son up there, um, that's uh, just a shelf that we built for his laptop so he can work up there. So, no point in us going up there, new cushions, new covers for the cushions. Forward head is in that door. Looks a lot like the aft head, but I'll open the door, show you. So you can see there's a shower curtain. We take showers in there, two opening ports in there, so it stays nice and dry and um, works well. And then I'll turn around, and so the companionway going up, one of the things that's kind of cool is that companionway is not very, it's not real steep, and we like that a lot because it's a lot more comfortable to go up and down, especially for the dog. Then um, the galley is real nice size. Um, down at the bottom where you see the gauges, that's the refrigeration control with the custom temperature gauges. Three burner Hiller stove, works great. Uh, nice two nice deep stainless sinks, which is a must in any kind of sailboat. Something you can put stuff where you're going to see and it starts moving around. And then uh, we've got storage, of course, uh, behind the back of the stove and across the back. And again, there's some custom storage I built over the refrigerator freezer. Uh, we make ice, so you can, we don't even keep it as cold as it can be. It works great. It doesn't use a lot of power. And you've got two open ports in the galley, one there and one there. Um, and of course, you've got the open ports in the salon. There's four of them in the salon, so there's lots of, uh, of ports and light and air in this boat. So, don't think, I think that's everything we need to show you. And if you have any questions, just let us know.